What's up, Warrior Base community? I'm Naz Rahman. Once again, at your service, this is Let's Go Usahawan brought to you by TDC Holdings. Dan kali ini, kita bersama dengan Datuk Hazimah Zainuddin. We are privileged to have her on this segment to speak to us about her journey. She's the founder of Hyrex Oil that produces and distributes transformer as well as engine oil to 38 countries around the globe. She's been in the business for 31 years and she is an iron lady as well. One of the first woman entrepreneurs to make a mark right here in Malaysia and of course across her different markets. Jom, kita bercerita sikit dengan saya. Saya nak pergi jemput dia sebagai super hari ini. And let's pick her brains. What makes her tick? Okay, dear viewers, kita bertuah. Saya lah sebenarnya bertuah menjadi supir kepada Datuk Azimah Zainuddin, founder of Hyrex Oil and also former chairperson of Perbadanan Usahawan uh, Nasional Berhad. And she's here with us. Assalamualaikum, Datuk. Waalaikumsalam, yes. Uh, but first, let's let's take a look into the person that is uh, Datuk Azimah Zainuddin. Um, where where did you come from? I understand you uh, you hail from Perak. Perak. You're through through blue Perakian, is that true? True blue, true blue. But uh, born and uh, raised in Perak in Taiping. Mm. Uh, my mom is from Kuala Gangsa. My dad is from Batu Gajah. But somehow we settled down in Taiping because that's where my father punya last posting. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we 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 like Taiping very much. It's a very calm and very nice uh, city to to retire yeah, oh, for yes. for retirement. Yeah. Do you ever have? Uh, an entrepreneurial spirit. Mana tahu jual kereta di jalan ke, jual lembu ke. Betul, betul. Yeah, you know what? Um, rumah kerajaan di uh, di uh, Batu Gajah. Masa tu, I ke Batu Gajah, I was uh, form 5. Mm -hmm. um, uh, nak kan kasut badminton master, nak nak tengok-tengok orang-orang oh. -orang semua. Dia tak nak kacau my mother, kesian kat dia kan. Uh -huh. Badminton master masa tu harga RM12 ke RM13. Oh, mahal tu. Uh, tapak dia hijau or merah, you know. Oh, tengok oh, orang pakai, kita teringin nak pakai. So I did along the uh, the house there is an orchard mm. uh, rambut pokok rambutan pokok manggis pokok macam-macam lah mm. pokok buah-buahan so what I did I strike a deal with my brother that's that that share 3040 I become the marketer <laughs> you become the person panjat ram, uh, pokok rambutan so I I tied up the pokok rambutan yang jual kat sekolah oh. so that's how value my shoe sampai I kerja uh -huh. I simpan kasut tu Just because a reminder that's a reminder and that's it that's from my titik peluh you know from my own uh, blood, sweat and tears lah orang kata. It's a pretty yeah, special story. Yeah. Mesti kasut tu dah belacan. Dah, dah kan? belacan, dah belacan. <laughs> dah. So it's, it's very interesting. Yeah. Here at our location, yep. we shall continue this interesting conversation with a spot of drinks. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Baiklah, kita dah bercerita sedikit sebanyak tentang kehidupan Datuk Hazimah kita. Sekarang kita dah settle down sini Datuk. Let's get down to business with your business, Hyrex Oil. Right? When you started Hyrex Oil, first it was trading and then it was transformer oil. Mm -hmm. Now we're talking about male dominated uh, uh, industry. Mm -hmm. For a lady, petit petit, cantik cantik, mm -hmm. tiba -tiba saya nak buat transformer oil. <laughs> how did the market react to that? Or how did investors, how did uh, players react to that? Um, honestly, um, I look for niche market. I look for something which is the other gap. Mm -hmm. When I when I um, uh, look at the market per se, and I I study the market, I did uh, research, and so I said I want to do something which is uh, other X factor, which is nobody is doing it. So mm -hmm. transformer came into the picture. So blue oceans. Uh, the yeah. blue ocean strategy. Yeah, and then when I my Korean partner, that time the Korean partner, da. Uh, which I brought the product um, by via uh, import uh, importation, mm -hmm. and then bila dah uh, supply to Malaysia uh, transformer manufacturers kat jalan Ampang tu kan, mm -hmm. tu. Wow, all yeah, those years ago, yeah, all the years ago I was young, was so dynamic, I feel so energetic. <laughs> I don't mind going to the uh, to the uh, factory of Malaysia transformer and wait for the. GM for a few hours, you know, just to oh. get through. You know, people doesn't know me. People so you still remember the hustle? I right? know, I know. <laughs> I, I, I have to go through all that. When they um, accept my product, I feel there's been some sampling testing and they, they, they said their product is of good quality. Mm -hmm. So I brought in and supply to them. I supply by Tenaga National, I supply by MTM. Mm -hmm. um, and, and transfer manufacturers like SGB, a German-based company, uh, EWT, an Australian-based company, mm -hmm. So. Wilson Transformer in Australia too. So they um, they it is well accepted. So few years later I dengan Corinne I say, hey, let's build a plan. Lah. Mm -hmm. 
Wow. Cannot lah. If you bring in by import via uh, apa nama the import duties is too expensive. So we brought in the uh, we decided that was when we planned it was in 1992. Mm -hmm. So 1995, Alhamdulillah, the factory is in operation, mm. full fledged. Yeah, yeah. Eighty percent of the plant is for transformer oil. I see, yeah. and I was 17 years old back in that. Yeah, you made me feel so old. Now. My goodness. <laughs> no, it's just the, the amount of experience yeah, you've gone yeah, through. I, I, know. I wanted to pick up on, on your comments. Is that any? Is that all women can do for yourself Yeah, mm -hmm. as an entrepreneur after all these years? Which is more important, aptitude or attitude? Both. Both, yeah? Yeah, you must be having the right attitude to be an entrepreneur. Mm. Takkan sikit-sikit problem dah nak give up. Mm. You're not talking about sikit. COVID is a big, big problem. <laughs> attitude, you must have the right mind, the right set of thinking to get things going. Lah. Kalau mm. uh, you don't have the right frame of mind, you give up easily and you don't really uh, uh, want to see the company grow and mm. that's it. You, banyak orang fail macam tu. So if let's say you have the attitude that... that never say die, so on and so forth. But if you don't have what it takes here, can you be successful? Mm, yes, nothing comes easy, okay? The right attitude is right, you know, never say die, like James Bond movie. Mm. So when you are in, when your company is in, uh, in, in some kind of issue, mm -hmm. you, you, you have to troubleshoot and find out what is the issue mm -hmm. and find a solution. Mm -hmm. So to me, everything came, uh, will come with an answer and solution. So, but you have to jot down and, and, and look at it. The right aptitude is very, very, very important. The aptitude yeah. is the aptitude, important. Yeah. Yeah. What is it that our Usawan lack? I mean, throughout your experience and also as former uh, uh, person in charge of UNB. What is it that Usawan lack and what should they do to tackle today's challenges? You want it from my heart, right? From your heart. Um, I'm very passionate about Usawan. That's why uh, we have WLF, Women Leadership Foundation, was formed. Mm -hmm. um, because I feel that after PUNB, uh, two years I was with PUNB, I feel there's a gap. How do, in my life, I feel there's a gap? Because the, the two years I was with PUNB, I keep on working for, like working full time for PUNB. Look, I know my business is running by itself. So at the same time, I, I, I you know, sit down with my officers, I got PUNB, all the uh, strategize things out for the Usahawan and things like that. I cannot just give money to them by giving them the loans, by giving them money and just let them, nah, this is it. So this handout mentality. Handout, yeah. two million ringgit given to you because of what you're presented is good mm -hmm. and that's it. So you need to handhold them. You need to really guide them. Mm -hmm. walk, walk them through. You know, you don't, you, you don't just the pass tangan. So there that. must be accountability. Must be accountability. You must be guiding them. They need your guidance. Mm. Sometimes you have the money, what do I do with it? Ini tu yang mula dia start uh, think jam kepala dia jahat tak kerja, pas nak besar kereta kereta tu kah, uh, isteri kereta tambah. Itu lagi So, so these are the things that I feel um, they need to be to be to be to be trained and to, to be guided and things like. That. Then they, they love to be guided. It's not that they, they, they don't want to. Mm. It's not that the money is mine. I know what I'm gonna do. I'm doing. I'm gonna do with the money. But no, they need us to guide them. Datuk, you've done so much not just for the startup community, not just for entrepreneurs, but for women entrepreneurs as well who look at to you guys and go, I can be like that one day. Mm -hmm. So if ever you get a chance <coughs> to travel back in time yeah. and do the same thing or given the chances, would you do it as a man or a woman? Mm. You know, to me, la, my personal view, being a woman, there is an added advantage. Uh, if you know your stuff well, mm. you know your product well, you know your... Um, the characteristic of the, the 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 product that you're representing, yeah, like for me in 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 um, uh, the lubricant and uh, industry that I'm in, the engine oil and the transformer oil and things like that. When when I walk into a presentation to pitch for something, people look at me. Ah, another woman, five minutes, go la finish. I know it would take you half an hour. You listen to me talking, okay? Because I. I know the detail of whatever I do. I know the viscosity. I know the, the composition, the characteristic of the product that I'm selling. Because you know what? I like to read. Mm -hmm. I like to learn. I learn a lot from my chemist. Uh, the, 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 whenever the chemist do the mixture, the concussion in his, in his lab and things like that, I will ask, what is this? What is that? You know? Mm -hmm. and, and what is water content? How do you remove the water from the oil? How mm -hmm. do you uh, safeguard the oil from being contaminated? When people listen to whatever you say and you, you know your stuff very well, they are like the jaws drop and, <laughs> and they, they say, oh, well, this woman knows what they're doing. So my advice to all the fellow women entrepreneurs, be yourself, 
know your product well, know your stuff well, you need to know technical know-how of your product if you're in technical line. Yeah. To yeah. know the yeah. power of a woman. I don't want to be a man. I prefer to be a woman. And I like it that way. Yeah. Unfortunately, I don't have that option. <laughs> Thank you. Dear Warga Based Community, what a wonderful interview session with Datuk Hazima Zainuddin. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this Iron Lady has worked it for 31 years across 38 countries. And so, the gems that she shared with us about being tenacious, never giving up, and attitude and aptitude go hand in hand when it comes to success in whatever you do. Reach for the stars and touch the sky. This has been Let's Go Usahawan with myself, Naz Rahman, brought to you by TDC Holdings. We'll see you again in our next segment, inshallah. Bye-bye, everyone. Assalamualaikum.